focusing on genocide as the public does, it is now clearly a subset of crimes against humanity. What do we know about the term crimes against humanity? Around for a couple of hundred years, one early use is attributed to Robespierre, who described Louis XVI as a criminal against humanity. The term featured in Abraham Lincoln's 1860 electoral platform, when, which branded the reopening of the, America, uh, the African slave trade as a crime against humanity. The term started to shrink into, onto or into legal use in the 1907 Hague Convention preamble, but made its first formal appearance as a law in the Armenian massacres or in a declaration about the Armenian massacres in 1915, when um, the crimes, when a declaration by France, Great Britain, and Russia said that the presence of crimes of Turkey against humanity, and then went on to deal with other things. Um, the countries I identified did not include America. And in light of what's going to follow, America's attitude was interesting. US Secretary of State Robert Lansing declined to endorse this crimes against humanity condemnation and, and said that it was, there was a more or less justifiable right of the Turkish government to deport Armenians to the extent that they lived within the zone of military operations. He wasn't going to have an extensive use of crimes against humanity. In any event, in the event, as it happened, the Treaty of Sèvres that might have created the first tribunal to try crimes of against humanity was, I think, overturned by the Treaty of Lausanne, and very little came of it. But post-World War II Nuremberg trials included crimes against humanity. And revealingly, in 1945, Justice Jackson, at the conference that preceded the trials, echoed what Lansing, the Secretary of State, had said making it clear it was no part of the USA's function to interfere with the internal affairs of another country, even if they were exterminating their citizens. And so, when crimes against humanity was defined for World War II, it was important to the Americans, as um, Jackson candidly acknowledged, that they should not allow the crime to cover countries like America for acts that they may, may have performed in their own past. And it was essential to confine um, the use in World War II of crimes against humanity to what was within war, by the phrase that you can see there, persecutions on political, racial, or religious grounds in execution of or in connection with war. Professor Shabas argues that it was a, perhaps as a result of this that Raphael Lemkin, I think we've got a picture of him, most important, wonderful man, who coined the term genocide in 1943 and brought it into some general use by the time of the, um, uh, the Nuremberg tribunals, realized that what had happened in the tribunal meant that pre-war action against the Jews, or post-war, was not going to be justiciable. So he hurried himself to the United Nations and ensured that the Genocide Convention was passed, which it was, and that would allow for the pursuit of countries that committed genocide as defined, even out of the context of war.